We were living in Coventry, had a couple of kids at that point, and then we found out we were having a third. So we decided it was time to expand a bit and move into a new shell. Building a home was a bit of a stretch for us at the time. Fortunately, we have a relationship with the farmer up the street. We've known him all our life. I grew up working for him and uh, he was very generous and actually gave us this piece of land to build the house on. Tim and I met at Eastern Connecticut State University and being environmentally conscious was something that was always important to Tim and I. And so once we got married, we started doing composting, recycling, so it was something that we've always had in our marriage. So when we moved to this house, it just felt natural to continue that progression and do even more. So it's really important when you look at building a house that's gonna be net zero, the shell is critical. Infiltration can still happen between cracks where the studs meet the insulation. So Mark Bashista advised us on how to take care of these issues and really create a tight envelope. Tim made a lot of good decisions in the house. The, the walls were insulated with dibs, which is a net and blow system. So it gets in all the nooks and crannies and does a better job than usually the fiberglass bats do. For us, it added value because we have the peace of mind that we're doing the right thing for the environment, of course, but selfishly, we don't pay an electric bill, we don't pay an oil bill, we don't pay a gas bill. All energy is created on site, we're saving money. We went between geothermal and air source heat pumps, and we are happy with our air source heat pumps. And then for the hot water system, we went with an electric hot water heater with a heat pump on top. We do like a lot of light. A lot of natural light was very important to us, so that's why we did have a lot of windows and a lot of actually tall windows. We knew for a fact that we were going to have solar. Because we had electric heat with the air source heat pumps, we knew we were going to need more than we could fit on the roof. Right. So we decided to go with a ground mounted system. It's 550 feet away. I did most of the installations myself. We ended up with 108 solar panels. This home before renewables had a preliminary score of 55. And then after the renewables were added, it was a score of minus 36. The favorite part of the house is my fireplace because it's beautiful stone that we picked out and it's a nice comfortable living room with our couch and our family when we have the fireplace on. It's a great family home. I like to sit out by the solar panels and stare at them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love our home so much. We built it from scratch. We picked out every single feature that we have in this house. It, it feels like home. It'll always feel like it's our forever home.